another kit of parts. This is a Sinus PL driver. Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. So let's have a look at our Sinus driver. Circuit board there. Very nice. And if we compare it to our last video of the Zozo. There we are. So, kit of parts. Let's have a look and see what we got. Okay. So we've got the same IC chips we use on our Zozo. Of course, one's a program chip. Got a capacitors, bag of resistors. And we've got wire in there to make our air coils. A few transistors, a transistor there. 2N4427. A few trimmers. Yeah, should be quite nice, straightforward build. So we have our instructions. And of course, it's a good old resistors. So we'll start on them first. So we sorted out all our resistors with different values. And the first one on there is a 1K R1 and on our board. There we are. R1. Let's get him on there. So our first 1k resistor's on there. There it is. On with the rest. That's all our resistors fitted. We've just got to solder all that up now. Soldering iron's warmed up nicely. Let's get them soldered. It's fitted. And next on the list is our variable resistor. That's going on now, and all that's for is to adjust their volume, and it goes just there. So next on the list is our capacitors. Got a bag full of them there, so I sort through them. So we sorted out most of our capacitors, now it's time to get them on there. capacitor which is a 10 uf 16 volt and it goes right there on our board and the long leg goes in the plus get one there and then we'll solder it all up lovely
Right, so that's all the capacitors all fitted. There we are, and all cleaned up on the back. Lovely. And the next on the list is the chips. We're not going to fit them yet, we'll do that later. But we've got these very cap uh, diodes, and we're going to use the KV1330. And so the other ones are very hard to find and quite expensive now, too. So they're in our bag. Let's find them. So we found our two very cap diodes. So I'm getting one there. That's our two very caps on there. And now we're going to fit a 10 volt voltage regulator. some transistors and these ones here are the BF199 and this one here is the BC556 LED on and this will be our indication to show the PLL is working. So I've got four trimmers to fit now and the first one's our purple which is a 5 to 40 and our free yellow a 5 to 65. time to get our main transistor on there which is a 2N4427 and this is a Philips one none of them uh, fake rubbish ones was it just won't work and we've got a little plastic spacer there so the transistor doesn't sit right on the board so let's get them on there time to get our dip switch on there it goes just here and that is where we're frequency is adjusted so our dip switch is all fitted now and next on the list is this ferrite bead there's five turns so we've got our wire we've got a ferrite bead let's put five turns on there so i've put five turns on our ferrite bead i just need to clean the legs up and then get it soldered onto our board Right, so air coil time, and we've got a li list of them there. We've got a SWGY here, 22 SWG, 18 SWG. Let's get winding some coils. So the first coil we're gonna make is U19. It's uh, on a four mil drill bit, 12 turns, 22 SWG. It goes right there. So our oscillator coils are next, which have two turns and are wound on a 5.5 drill bit, 18 SWG, and we've got to make six of them. We'll go right round there. Yeah, that looks familiar from another one I've built before. So that's five of our coils on there. Let's get the last one on there. Just finished winding our last two air coils so i'll just put that one on there he's not soldered yet and that one i've just wound and that one was a four turn on a six mil drill bit and that one there was a five turn on a five mil drill bit so we'll get them soldered and our board is almost complete 
next we're going to get our IC chips on. And exactly the same as the Zozo. Uh, so we've got the SAA1057, which is a frequency synthesizer IC. And we've got our program picked there that contains our hex file. So let's get them on. So our build is now complete. We've just fitted our heat sink for our transistor and our two IC chips. And now we need to set our frequency on this dip switch here. And we're gonna set that to 102 and then we'll connect up to our power supply and connect up to our dummy load. So let's set our dip switch to 102. And I've got it up on our phone here. I'm gonna see what we need to do. So spin it around this way. Our first two are off, which are on, oh, and the next ones are all go to on four of them to on and then the last two off so that is our frequency set to 102 nice and easy right let's connect it up to a power supply and dummy load so we're all switched on now a red led is flashing away so we're not locked on frequency but 12 volts coming in we're connecting up to a dummy load so now we need to adjust this trimmer here so we see five volts on our meter, so it locks up every time we switch it on. And that is done by going on this side of the resistor here. So we've got seven volts on our meter, and we've got our trimmer tool, and we're just gonna put that in there. And the wrong way, turn it down. And you see five volts. quite sensitive almost there and that's close enough and you can see our red LED has gone out. So if we switch it off, switch it back on, switch it flash, and then go out. And there we are. So we're locking onto frequency. And on our counter, we locked onto 102. Perfect. So all down they need to do is just our power output. Okay, so we've adjusted our PLL, so the LED goes out, and now we're just gonna adjust our power output on these three trimmers here. So switch it back on. We should see a flash from our LED. Wait for it to lock up. So there we go, we're locked onto frequency. And if we look at the power, it is down on power. So we start on our first trimmer here. We'll turn this very slowly. So maximum on that one. So move on to the next. I think that's our maximum on that one. And go on to the last one here. Okay, I think that is it. So looking on our meter, we're doing just over one watt on there, just a tad. That's okay. That's what it says on the board, one watt. That's what we're getting on our meter. We'll check our frequency again. And we're on 102. Working well. Right, so we're all switched on and we're wired up to my laptop now for the audio. We're doing our one watt of power on there. Frequency is 102. Radio is switched on. So push play on the laptop, should hear something.
Our builder for the sign this one what PL driver. Not a bad build. And this looks all like the NRG to me. Yeah, I enjoyed that. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.